Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Hey, church family, Keith and I want to share a few more things with you. I want to get the unpopular stuff out of the way first. You probably already have figured this out, but all the way through the end of April, we're having to cancel all of our services, all of our events. Now, that being said, we're going to continue to offer our services online and all of our teaching events. Those are going to be online and He's going to share a little bit with you about all the different places you can see our services and see our teachings that we're posting. Hello, everybody. Sure do uh, miss seeing you. Uh, I'd like to take just a minute to uh, share with you how you can see our services and the Bible teachings that's been done. The church has an app. If, uh, if you haven't downloaded the app, you can download the app and uh, go on there and look at sermons, look at the Bible teachings. It will link you to our website. Uh, you can also go to the internet and look at our website, PFWBC, which will give you upcoming dates that we don't have right now, but in the future we will. Uh, and it'll give you uh, archives of the sermons and Bible teachings there. We also are putting it out on Facebook like we have for a long time. Uh, it'll be Facebook just like normal and you can go to uh, our Facebook account for the church uh, but we also have something new if you have not watched us on YouTube we are now putting it on YouTube so go to PFWBC on YouTube and uh, subscribe and uh, you'll be able to watch it all on YouTube these are the four different ways that uh, that is provided for you. Three of them is normal, but this fourth one we have added and hope that you're enjoying it and uh, can't wait to see you in person. Now, I know you all know that this Sunday is Easter and we have, uh, well, we've talked about doing a lot of things at Easter and we finally come up with something we think is going to work, but I want you to know that even those services in this building have been canceled. Easter is not canceled. We are still going to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have some things planned for you for Easter. Uh, we, have, uh, we have set up a digital Easter egg hunt for everyone. Uh, and it's not our typical indoor egg hunt because we've done that in the past. Uh, Miss Carrie and Miss Crystal have come through the church and they're going to show you some areas of the church that uh, we normally don't hide the eggs in, but we know you've missed seeing these areas for the last month or so. So we put eggs in all of those, and we they did this one, I think, for me, because I've looked at the pictures. They even put the number of eggs in the corner, so you know when you found them all. But that will be up on our Facebook page starting this Thursday. So that is a digital Easter egg hunt for everyone. Also, this Friday, this coming Friday, which is Good Friday, at 6 o'clock in the evening, we have a, uh, an encore showing of our May 5th, 2019 service. Now, you, that may, they probably doesn't mean a thing to you, but if you were here at that service, I'm telling you, you will remember it. You need something to, uh, to lift you, to boost you, to encourage you, and this service will do that. It is May the 5th service and is going to be shown this sun or this Friday evening at 6 o'clock. Now, Easter Sunday morning service. We are going to do something we have never done before, but we're doing a lot of things right now we have never done before. At the end of our Sunday morning service, we are going to have an online communion service that all of you can be part of. We have ordered some pre-packed communion items. Uh, it's, it's the grape juice and the wafer. All of it is sealed up. All of it is pre-packed. We will not be handling any of it. And we're going to invite you to come by the church under the canopy and the main entrance this Saturday from 11 to 1. And we'll make sure you get these packs enough for your family. Just one of you come and get it and get enough for the whole family. Now, if you're not comfortable getting out, we understand that. 
use your own grape juice and uh, a cracker, or if you don't have grape juice or, or a cracker, you make a substitute that you're comfortable with. And at the end of service, we will all take communion together. Now, now understand, you're doing it as a personal family with your immediate family members, and we are doing it as a whole church family. It's, we've never done it, but I think we can pull it off, folks. You need to understand, communion is a symbolic act. It symbolizes the, the body of Christ that, that bore our sins and the blood of Christ that washed those sins over. And what a better day to remember that than as we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that is what we're doing for Easter, the egg hunt, the Good Friday service, and the Easter morning service. So I pray that you, uh, in the midst of everything, God is still God, guys. He is still on the throne. He's still in control. And we will celebrate Easter. A little bit different, but it's still celebrating the resurrection. God bless you guys. You know we love you. Take care of yourself.